Hello and welcome to another Watercolour Wednesday with Liz at Home. Today I'm using my Daniel Smith Dot card again. This is the Thomas Shaller palette and I'm using my tiny little Arteza sketchbook and I thought I'd try out this Filbert brush. I have just one vessel of water and my paper towel and I've done three little doodles of sweeties lollipops um, and I thought I'm just going to use my dot cards and color them in for fun to give you some more ideas of things you can do with your dot cards should you buy them. I have so much fun with dot cards. I love playing with them because I never feel guilty about using the paint or wasting something. They're not that expensive to buy. They're great quality paints you get and you get a chance to get a feel for the paints and look at the colors and make some decisions before spending much more money and buying a tube of something. So I hope that you're going to enjoy watching this. This particular color that I'm using is called Permanent Orange and they're all Daniel Smith paints. And I'm going to zoom into my painting I change over and use my round brush after a while because I find the fill bit a little bit challenging and to be quite honest I've been struggling a little bit lately. I've been struggling with time. I've just been struggling. It's just one of those times where creating art is not so easy. Time is short and we're going into winter here, so it's darker and it's cold. And I'm going to stop moaning and get back to my painting. I'm just erasing with my kneadable eraser some more of the little sketch I did because I don't want the pencil lines to come out. I am now using some cobalt teal on this part. The reason I'm popping around from one lollipop to the other is that I want the paints to dry on each before I get to the next one because I don't want to use wet on wet in this particular instance. I'm using a wet on dry technique so that I'm not that keen for the paints to bleed into each other. So I hope that you enjoy watching this and I hope that it inspires you to give a chance to trying something like this. They're the easiest things to draw really and truly. You just need a little circle. I drew around a washi tape to get my circle the size I wanted it. And then I just drew designs like a whirly gig for this one. I drew a little kawaii type of face on the other and just having fun and using paints. I do hope that you enjoy watching this. Please remember to like and comment and subscribe. I'd love to know what you think about this.
So I must say, as I carry on with this, I'm doing it with no rhyme or reason. I have not chosen a color palette or anything. I've just taken the dot card. I'm seeing which paints have still got paint left to be used, and I'm using those paints. That's why I chose something like lollipops, because they can really and truly be any color you like. I thought I don't have to do a skin tone for the face lollipop. I'm just going to do whatever I like when I get to it and enjoy myself in the doing. Also a little, I don't know if one would call it a disclaimer or what you would call it, but um, this video is going up for me. It's Thursday evening that I'm still busy recording this <clears throat> voice part of it. I actually did the painting on Wednesday, but uh, this was supposed to be Watercolor Wednesday and it's going up under the Watercolor Wednesday title, but I'm afraid for me it's Thursday evening. I'm not sure when you will watch it, but um, it's going under Watercolor Wednesdays, but for me this is now actually Thursday. So, truly Thursday, Watercolor Wednesday. <laughs> is there such a thing? I just hope that you can also have fun doing something like this. I was saying to one of my other color fellow color tubers the other day that I sometimes get the YouTuber blues because it all begins to get a bit much trying to churn out video after video. I begin to feel, what on earth can I do next? Who wants to watch anyway? But this is something I've set for myself and something I enjoy doing. So I'm continuing. And I do hope that you enjoy some of the content that comes out there. This particular lollipop that I'm busy with now, I actually crossed over onto the other page because I wanted a full circle. And I thought, oh, well, that's also, these are good ideas for sketchbook, something to do in your sketchbook. I know. A lot of us that keep sketchbooks often wonder what on earth we can use to put in our sketchbooks. And um, I thought this is another fun idea to do in a sketchbook. So I hope that some of you will take me up on this. I found this particular color coming out. This is the cobalt teal blue. And I'm convinced I used the cobalt teal blue for the first blue, but I must have had some yellow left in my brush. I must not have washed it out properly, and hence the semi-green. <laughs>
Well, now, I do like me some light jazz music. I hope you enjoyed that. As usual, this music is by Epidemic Sound. I'm now using some burnt sienna light, and I'm going to be making a very light watered-down mixture because I don't want it to be too pigmented. Um, the previous, the red color that I used is cadmium red medium hue, just for your information. So now I used that burnt sienna light um, for the lollipop sticks and now I'm trying to decide what color to do for the face. I kind of want to use the lavender paint but I'm not sure about it so I think I'm going to probably go with this blue which is a cobalt blue and just do that and then I'm going to ink the little features in with the micron pen afterwards. I think that will be the best. And I'm quite happy with how these little lollipops have turned out. What do you call them? Um, do you call them lollipops? Do you call them suckers? Do you call them hard candy? Um, <laughs> we tend to call them suckers or lollipops. That seems to be the South African word. I think a lot of our language tends to stem from the British more than the American. But I'd be interested to know what your comment for these are. And I'm just sort of outlining with my little brush um, just around the edges. And this blue did bleed into the sucker, into the lollipop stick a little bit, but yeah. What is your favorite candy? Do you like hard candy? Do you like chewy candy? Do you like hard suckers? Look what I've done there. And I've just pulled this wet paint down. Oh, I get so irritated with myself when I do that. Still, we'll make a big bow there and hope that it covers up the mess. Um... I love saltwater taffy, which I import myself from the States every now and then. We actually don't get that here in South Africa, but I absolutely love it. Um, and I otherwise enjoy, I enjoy chewy, soft chewy, like soft gums, or chewy, not too chewy, not so chewy. I used to love toffees, but being a senior citizen these days, I have to be aware of toffees or my fillings tend to come out. I had a dental visit the other day. I must say when I was a kid, I was terrified of the dentist, but I absolutely love my dentist. He's a total sweetheart and so I'm no longer afraid of going. I kind of quite look forward to seeing him. He never hurts me and he's always supremely kind. I can't believe how kind and patient the guy is. So it's no longer an unpleasant experience, thank goodness. So I'm just going over with the, the sticks again and then I need to wait for the paint to dry and then draw in the little features. Let me see if I can zoom in again. My attempt at a flower on the other side is a bit of a flop. So I'm just using my micron pen to draw some big eyes and a little mouth and some eyelashes. And then I might draw some hairlines or just the basis of some hairlines. Giving a cute little face to that and the hair looks sparse. So I think I'll just Draw in a little bit of hair and a little flower and <laughs> call it done. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and goodbye for now.